Retail workers of Reddit. What is your best method for passing time? When I worked retail I used to go out and slowly gather the carts. I work as a grocery cashier, and it gets boring fast scanning items, and standing for hours and time goes by very slow. I play a game with myself where I choose look for slash count for one specific thing like bad tattoos, so every 10 people I see who I consider to have a bad tattoo I check the clock. Every 20 people who come in with their dog in a stroller, very common in my store, I check the clock ECT. Chatting with coworkers mostly. That and imagining a different reality in my head. I organized. My last retail job had a long standing policy of no one was allowed to be doing nothing behind the counter, because a significant amount of merchandise was behind the counter, which was so stupid, so customers could shop while we were working. I made sure the shelves and pegs were organized, clean and shop able. I had a friend that worked at a Walmart in college, and he was convinced that our employee that looked like they were working, was invisible to the management staff. So he took a big broom, and walked around the same set of aisles for an entire 8 hour shift, and did nothing else to see if they would notice. The same manager walked by him 20 to times, and never said a word to him. Piece of advice to some of you. I used to draw sad clowns on the back of receipt paper the sadder the better edit, picture somewhere in the thread of what a sad clown in teen melancholy looks like. Folding. I got so good at folding, without a board, so would spend hours perfecting stacks of shirts. Also, dusting, organizing, and cleaning things that people never see. As long as I had decent music it could really help the shift go by fast. But if anyone told me to clean I would get annoyed lol. Do not look at the time. Big mistake. Dissociate. I worked at Party City for 4 years, and would not have been able to do it without Bluetooth headphones. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. My hair goes past my ears. So I would put one headphone in one ear and hide it with my hair. Then have the other ear free, if people needed me. Podcasts and audiobooks saved my sanity. I know this seems crazy, but actually talking to customers can be pretty incredible. So many people starved for human interaction and everyone has an interesting story. Reddit. Worked. Mainly. Boring. But when thing were slow. One of us would go to one end of the store, it was an anchor store in the mall, and we'd toss an earth football back and forth. I worked as an overpass stoker for 2 years. During that time I thought up, and worked out a story idea in my head. When I got an office job I needed to fill time at. I wrote that story over 3 years of extra free time. I finished the first draft last year, and have been taking a break from it, while working on a new story. We have work phones with optional earpieces, the transparent secrets of us coiled earpieces. I just plug that into my phone, and listen to audiobooks. 4 hours of listening so far today. 3 books finished so far this year. Talking to customers. It's fun when you're like. So Carol was the one with baby, and she had no husband to look after her. That's horrible. By the way, your total is 47. 99 okay thank you have a nice day. When I worked retail, I always brought a book with me, or brought something, that I wanted to learn. Book on a language I wanted to learn. Two things come to mind. Organizing the back rooms to be able to walk back, and without searching grab the product for a customer. The other was stopping the scammers. My favorite pastime was winning against the quick change artists. I would let them play their game. Keeping a mental tally of where things were. Then at the opportune moment say, Oh my god I'm so confused, and slam my register draw shut. Apologize to the quick change artist, and say I have to count my draw I think I gave you the wrong change. Please wait here I will be right back. Call my manager over, and disappear to the back to count with a witness. Comically, the quick change artists never stuck around for me to count. 99% of the time my draw was spot on afterwards. The one time it wasn't. It was a repeat quick change artist that had scanned a cow walker out of $40. Needless to say, I even had the score. I made spreadsheets. I catalogued my cow walker's bathroom breaks, coffee breaks and how often the swore. I sometimes gave them stickers rewarding them for swearing less than last month, and wouldn't tell them what it was for, so they just got stickers. 
The boss makes a dollar. I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. When I worked retail. Before smartphones existed. We played hide the bear. We had small dollhouse sized teddy bears that were random colors. One person would clean and pull the stock forward on the shelves and hide the bear. Then would swap out with a cashier after chatting for a bit and let the cashier hunt down the bear. Rinse and repeat. Lose myself in repetition. Worked in a generic retail store that had catalogs. We used to use a random phrase from the catalog and see how many words we could make from the letters. When I worked retail there was never a shortage of work to do. So taking on a project made the day go by much faster. So, you know, actually working. My experience in retail, at a theme park, didn't involve much free time. I suppose when there was weed clean stuff. I no longer work in retail, but when I was being a checkout chick we would ask customers would you rather questions. My favorite was, would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of smell? I know you lose some of your sense of taste, if you do lose your sense of smell, but let's say in theory you don't. It kept us entertained for hours, until the assistant manager didn't find it funny, and told us we weren't allowed to ask customers would you rather questions. Not much to do besides keeping yourself busy, tbh. That and talking to coworkers. When I worked at Veris and I taught myself how to juggle. Never look at the clock. I like to do what I call the other customer summoning re to our low. It involves doing literally anything else, and as soon as you're deep into that task customers will instantly be lined up demanding service like Thea have been waiting hours for help. Don't look at the clock. Clean. And draw when the manager isn't looking. I memorize song lyrics beforehand, and then mentally sing them. It is like the world's shittiest iPod. I people watch and make up stories for them. I work in a deli, blowing up gloves like balloons and sticking them to random places, drawing dicks on things, talking to crazy customers, great time waster if they mention anything conspiracy related, swatting flies, press the bell in the butcher section a million times to piss off cowokers, eat random shit out of the display, antagonize my shitty boss. Leave all the cool room doors open, and see how long it takes for head office, to call and tell us off. Slap the hams, and pretend their ass. Cheeks. See how far across the shop I can slide, when the floor is wet. Ride trolleys around. Burn things with the shrink wrapping machine. Change the language on all the scales to Hindu. Clean the display windows, and see how long it takes an bratty kid or full grown adult, to rub their disgusting greasy hands all over it. Take count of the amount of times customers mispronounce completely simple product names. Throw prawns at people. The list goes on. Really? Not a retail worker, but I'm a hostess at the a really slow diner. So the diner has large windows around the whole building, and there are a bunch of booths that line the walls. The window shades are remote controlled, and you can open and close them individually. When I get bored I take the remote and open and close the blinds next to occupied booths, and see how many times I can open and close them without the table noticing. Used to work at McDonald's. I'd only focus on getting to the next hour of my shift, and then the next. Thinking about a whole 9 hours in that place was too depressing. Make friends with your co-workers, so you can both pass the time without being bored. When no one is around I'd see how fast I can pull things down from the highest racks with the pole we had with a hook on the end. Needless to say I got really good at it. Man I wish I cold seen this post and knew, because I know now this will get buried. I created a game at the store I work in that is simply called Watch Your Doin. The premise is simple. Pick up any item, and begin walking laps around the store. The goal is to see how many laps around the store you can do before someone asks you what you're doing. Bonus points for walking by the same employee a couple times. Seriously, please like and subscribe, and comment something nice for your favorite reddit slave. I just start organizing slash cleaning the things people miss or just doesn't get done. Looks good in front of management and you will less likely have to deal with customers. Whereas those who are conversing, will most likely talk or help out the customer. When I was a manager we had to send end of day reports that basically just explained what happened throughout the day, to give context to our sales numbers. Most people wrote two sentences and moved on, but I would spend all my downtime and my lunch break working on mine. 
Sometimes I would make it Beyonce themed and just use a bunch of her song titles. One time I did a The Room themed one, and used a bunch of classic lines from the movie. The best, in my opinion, was I took the entire peep. Sylvia Monologue, HTTPS, slash slash www, YouTube, com slash watch, V equals underscore NTPS V9 co, and made it about our grubbin, that was the hot topic of the day. I also rewrote the Jettisburg address, because it was the anniversary, I had a lot of fun working on those, and I did make them relevant to what actually happened in the store. I was just trying to make the most mundane part of the day entertaining. I dk if this counts, but I used to sit slash hide in the maintenance closet for a little bit to catch my breath. If there's really nothing to do, and the manager on duty is chill, I'll try on some stuff, or look at stuff I might want to buy. I'm a woman who works in the men's department in a department store. I like to try on the jackets and hoodies over my clothes. Hats and scarves too. Whatever I can put on without going into the fitting room. Also our clearance section is fun to go through. And I can pretend I'm cleaning, because it's always kind of a mess over there. Otherwise, I'll just talk to my coworkers. They literally had to buy a security cage to keep the toys locked down in the back. They were delivered with a security escort. People were ordering 100 Happy Meals with no food because we couldn't sell the toys by themselves. One day I heard a commotion up front and found my high school counselor reaching across the counter grabbing one of the owners by the shirt because we were out of the pink flamingo. I'll never forget the look in her eyes. She had to be dragged out. It's scary how easy it can be to work people up into a frenzy. My goal with my cowhawkers was to basically become like the Danton Randall and Clarks. Shitty jobs but they had fun passing the time. Honestly not trying to come off as snarky here but I just work. I work in a large bookstore chain and there is always something to do. There are always books to shelve properly. There are always customers to help. Orders to pick up. Making sure the stacks of books are in order so customers can find what they are looking for more easily. Some of my coworkers don't have that attitude though if there is always something to do, and they find themselves really bored, and the time just never seems to move forward. A lot of the younger cashiers just stand there waiting for a customer to come up and just do nothing, and say there's nothing to do. I could list of 5 things off the top of my head that they could be doing while waiting for a customer to come up. I have been in retail for over 15 years. There are days where it seems like time is at a crawl, but I still always have something to do. Don't get trapped in the mindset of oh well I finished my task now I just have to wait out the clock until my shift is done. No. Do something. Go ask your manager if there is something else that needs to be done. Hell even just general wiping of counters and sweeping. If you stand around waiting for your day to be over, it will never be over.